In this tutorial, I'm going to give you an introduction to the Model View Controller Design in CodeIgniter. Here we are on CodeIgniter's website, and we're in the documentation for the Model View Controller. So the model represents your data structures. So what the model is going to do is it's going to interact with the database. We're going to do reads on the database and writes, and we also have a view, and the view is the presentation side of the MVC and we also have a controller and the controller is an intermediary between the model view and any other resources that the controller needs so in a typical situation uh, the controller um, if your website works with a database the controller is going to go to the model to do something with the database or maybe get some sort of data from the database and that's going to come back to the controller and then the controller finally is going to serve it up to the view uh, where it can then be you know presented on a website so I've made an example and hopefully it will be more clear after that so we're back here in Aptana and I've made um, a lot of changes to uh, welcome message so we're doing some stuff here and we have our welcome controller and I've made changes here and I've also created a model and the model is doing some stuff with the database. Now, um, in CodeIgniter, it's not necessary to use the model. We could just work with the controller uh, and the view and have the controller passing the view some information it needs and then it's being displayed out in the view. But normally when you use a database, we should, um, it's best practice to put the um, database interactions in the model. So here I'm doing some stuff with the database and that's in this model users.php. So I needed to do a few things in order to get to this point. So some of the things I had to do first was first of all I needed to create a database. Okay. So I created this CI underscore DB database and if we click on that I've created a users table in it and we can look inside the users table and we can see um, I've populated this table with some some simple information. We have IDs and we have first name and email and we have four users. Okay, you should be familiar with um, PHP MyAdmin um, before doing this. If you installed XAMPP in the last tutorial, this will be included with it, and it can be accessed. Uh, through here and then you'll just click this admin button right here and then you can create a database and create a table um, just like I did okay uh, the next thing I needed to do was by default CodeIgniter assumes that you don't need a database so what I needed to do was configure the database connection in it and tell it that we are going to use a database so one thing you'll do, what you can do first is go into this, uh, so we have our application folder right here and we're going to go application and then config and then inside config we're going to open auto load and then scroll down in auto load until you get to um, this auto load libraries and you want to put database into the array here. Okay, By default there will be nothing here. I put database in there okay then it knows that you're going to use a database and the next thing I did was um, we go under in the config folder again and we open up database and scroll down in database and then you want to put in um, your username and your password if you have one and the database name okay and I'm on localhost, so this was already localhost. I just left that how it is. Okay, now we can close these now. And let's take a look at what I did. So let's go to the controller first, okay? Because everything starts with the controller. And I'll just make one note about that. So we can see that. Um, here I have localhost slash CI intro. So my whole site is inside the CI intro, okay? Well, how does it know to go here, okay? So in the config folder, we have this routes.php. We can take a look at that. 
Let's open that up. And I'm going to scroll down. And we're going to see the default controller is this welcome one. So if we just go to the root of the website, okay, this is we're in the root right now. It's not even showing a controller here. So um, the default controller is set to the welcome controller. Okay, so now it knows to go to the welcome controller. Now I can open up this welcome controller, and then the first thing that's going to happen in this welcome controller is we are going to run this index function. Okay, so you'll notice. Um, normally there'd be a controller something like users here okay but there's nothing here so what it's going to do is it's going to go to the index and what I'm saying is when this index function what we're going to do is we're going to run another function we're going to run this home function okay and this is a bit better practice um, we're just sort of separating the things this is my home page so I have a function for the home. So run this function, go to this function, okay, run this function. Okay, now we're down here. And in this function, uh, we're doing some stuff. So let's just go through this line by line. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm loading in the model that we're going to use. Because in this little application, we're going to do some stuff with the database. So we first need to log in, uh, we first, sorry, we first need to load in the model that's um, interacting with the database. So I go this and then load model and then I put the name of the model, the name of the file, okay, without .php inside these quotations, okay, and I've, we can see that, well I'll just show you where it is first. So we go application and then down to models and open up models and you can see I've created here model underscore users Dot PHP, so you can see this is the same as that without the dot PHP. Okay. So let's open up model underscore users, and so we're loading this model in. Okay, that's the first thing. The next thing we're doing is I'm creating some data inside this controller. This has nothing to do with um, the model. Um, I'm creating a data array, and this is an associative array and the first element title I'm setting to MVC cool title okay and this is going to be the title that is um, that is passed into our view so here the aver the variable is data and it's an array associative array with title as one of the elements and once this gets to the view this is going to be accessible just as title okay so this is really important to remember um, in the controller it's like this but if we want to use this title in the view we just go dollar sign title okay just leave that there um, creating another element in my data array page header and that's got the header there and then um, I'm creating another element in my data array and this is set to a function so this model users okay now this is only possible because I've loaded this model into this controller. So after I've loaded this in, I can just go this model users and then get first names. Okay, so let's take a look at get first names now. And I'm going to go to my model users and get first names. So um, it's not important if you're not familiar with all this. The main thing of this tutorial is just to understand the MVC pattern. So we're running this function get first names and I'm doing this DB oh sorry the first thing I need to do here is this construct so this is calling the model constructor and then uh, this DB query okay this is a this is a method of this um, this DB object okay query and then I'm just putting my SQL inside here select first name from users okay then I'm saying if this ret if this returns at least one row, then I'm going to return query result. Okay, so first of all, let's look at what this query does. Okay, what this is going to do is it's going to return an object. Return an object when read type queries are run. So obviously we're doing a select right now, so we're reading in some information from the database, 
and so what this is going to do is it's going to return an object okay so an object is being stored in this query right here okay now if the number of rows is more than zero this is also a code ignorer method um, this is going to return true if more than one row is found and then what are we going to do we're going to return query and then the result method okay what does this do this is going to return an array of objects so it's an array and each element of the array is an object and if there's no rows we just return null okay so it's important to remember this we're returning an array of objects with this method okay so we go back to our welcome controller so now um, this array of objects we're now storing in the element of this data array. So first names is now an array of objects. And we're also doing it again, this model get users. So this is almost the same, but instead we're selecting everything from the users table. Other than that, it's the same. So an array of objects in here too. And then finally, we are going to load the view. We're going to load the view, which is welcome message. That's the first parameter. What's the view? The second parameter is, well, what do we want to pass it? We want to pass it this data array. Okay. Now let's take a look at the view. And so you can see some stuff I've done here. So um, be because, like, for example, title, it's like this in the controller, but in the view, we access it just with dollar sign title. If you try to access it like this in the view, it's not going to work. Dollar sign title. So I'm echoing out the title and we're going down here. So in my H2, I'm echoing out the page header and then I'm doing a loop. So inside the body, we're doing for each statement. So rem remember that this is an array of objects. Okay. So therefore, if I loop through my array of objects, um, each thing that's going to be, each, each thing that's going to come out is going to be an object. So first names is an array of objects here. So first name is an object. Okay. So for each first names as object. So because this is an object, because what we're opening is an object, then we can access its methods and properties. So echo object, and then we're accessing the first name property of that object. Okay. And then we're creating a rule tag here. And finally down here for each users as object, um, we're just echoing this out. I'm concatenating on the string here. And then, so I'm accessing the first name property of the object there. And here I'm accessing the email. Okay. And we can see, um, we can see what that does on the website here. Okay. So it's all right here. We have our H, we have our H3, we have these, and this was our first loop, and this was our second loop. And um, we can see this, this came with the default of um, the view, but I just left it in there because it's, um, it's a reminder of how CodeIgniter can be useful. So uh, we just have HTML here, and we can see simply by um, putting this elapsed time inside these parentheses, um, we got the page loading time. Okay, so that's an introduction to the MVC and code igniter. Thanks for watching.